Teddy, tell me about the 90s. Tell me about Jurassic Park. Right, cool. So the movie begins, right? And immediately, the very first black man is killed. Did he die? Extremely. So then we meet Dr. John Hammond. Who's he, Teddy? He's this rich dude and he has a bunch of pet dinosaurs. So he asks paleontologists, Dr. Ellis Settler and Dr. Alan Grant to come check them out. Mm. So they flying over the ocean in his helicopter, right? Teddy, this movie is boring. I want to watch the Lego movie. Wait, wait, wait. I have an idea. Check this out. Daddy Mansion. Where was I? Oh, so they flying over the ocean inside his helicopter, right? We got Dr. Hammond, Dr. Sattler, Dr. Grant, advocate lawyer dude, and most importantly, Ian McCallum. What does Ian McCallum do, Daddy? He's just there being sexy. So they finally arrive at the island, Isalar Nubilar. Are they going to see dinosaurs? Yes. Dr. Grant sees something he never imagined he'd see. Daddy, is it a tyrannosaurus wix? Even better, I see a huge, gigantic, enormous. Get you a cataclysmic brontosaurus. Oh my god! They're so excited they cannot believe it! Oh wow, father, aren't they dangerous? No, brontosaurus are basically prehistoric giraffe cows. So they go back to Dr. Hammond's secret lair where he shows them how he invented dinosaurs. How, Daddy? And millions of years ago, mosquitoes bit a dinosaur and sucked its blood. As it gets fossilized and dug up millions of years later. And they extracted the dinosaur blood and injected it into a frog and a baby dinosaur was born. Oh. So they go outside and guess what? It's lunchtime for the most intelligent, the most fastest of the dinosaurs. Is it the T-Rex? No, but you're about to find out, my child. So Dr. Hammond's grandchildren, Lex and Tim, come through. They're so excited and Dr. Hammond sends them out to explore the big, bad, dangerous Jurassic Park. Daddy, what if something goes wrong? No, no, something's gone wrong as they come across this dying Triceratops. There's a huge storm on the way, but not to worry, for the sexy Ian Malcolm straddled towards a steamy pile of, uh, poopy. So the deceptive Dr. Dennis Nandroy decisively does his devilishly dastardly plan to derail and destroy Dr. Hammond's dinosaur dream. <gasps> what did he do, Daddy? He snuck into the control room and stole the continuum transfunctioner full of dinosaur juice. Why is he doing this, Daddy? Because he wants to be a million billionaire. So Dennis shuts down the power to the entire park because Dennis is a menace. And why is there one switch that shuts down the power to the entire dinosaur park full of dinosaurs? What if a T-Rex comes? <sighs> Daddy, is that what I think it is? Yes. The lawyer dude is like, peace, niggas, and he rides and hides in the toilet. But as you're about to find out, this is a bad idea. The T-Rex are wrong. And Lex is like, this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. 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 Right. The T-Rex attacks them through the roof. How will they get out of this situation? Easy. Dr. Grant gets out to face the mighty apex predator with the flare. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. <laughs> but the T-Rex is not to be fooled for he's hungry and he finds the perfect little snack sitting on the toilet. Nom nom. He must have really pooped. Indeed, but just as Dr. Grant and the kids are about to get away. Stop, stop. Humans. The T-Rex spins the car around and around and off the bridge and into a tree. Oh, no. Meanwhile, Dr. Dennis Nedre is speeding through a dinosaur-infested jungle. And he crashes and he gets out and he falls down the river, but he survives. But oh no, he's staring into the eyes of the deadly Lophosaurus. Black in his face. He gets killed to death. Good riddance. Back at the top, the T-Rex is like, I want more human meat. Oh. He chases after them while Ian McCullum lays there being sexy. Raw. The T-Rex hits the car with his big gigantic head and he gets a big boo-boo. And finally, they get away. Yay. Dr. Grant and the kids are walking by a beautiful splat. Yes. Ew, that's nasty. Dr. Grant and the kids narrowly escape the clutches of a T-Rex while sexy Ian lays there. Injured. He's so useless, Daddy. So Dr. Setter bravely comes to the rescue where she heroically runs through the dangerous jungle to pull the switch and the power to the park turns back on. Yeah. Rawr, the Velociraptor viciously violates her freedom. Oh, no. But after her almighty battle with a sprained ankle, she runs away and finally gets to safety. <laughs> oh, 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 gotcha. Daddy. Running from dinosaurs, Lex and Tim sit down for a well-deserved meal. But oh no! Let me guess, something else went wrong. Indeed, for the Velociraptors have entered the chat. Sniff, sniff, baby children. At least Velociraptors can't open doors. The Velociraptor opens the door. How? Yow! 
So the velociraptors come through through a box of rappers ready to chew through the cheeks of the pink children. Nom, 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 They sneak around the kitchen as the raptors use their superior sense of smell to hunt them down. <sighs> Next attracts the attention of the raptor and attacks boom into a cupboard. So the intelligent velociraptor was defeated by a reflection. Yes. Tim makes a run for it, but somehow he's also sprained his ankle as he's chased by a raptor. But no worries for the floor is slippery. He runs into a they run into the open, into the arms of Dr. Settle and Dr. Grant, and they run downstairs and close the door and hide. Oh, finally, they're safe now. Phew! Boom. Velociraptor. Is that the Velociraptor that can open doors? I'll open that for you, sir. But how, Daddy? Dr. Ellie and Grant try to keep the door shut while Lex quickly operates the past computer systems for the very first time. She's a genius. Just like you. Crash, the raptor breaks through, so they climb into the ceiling. Surely the raptor can't catch them there, Daddy. Wrong. The raptor catches them through the ceiling and, and Lex nearly falls through. But she's saved just before the raptor nom, nom. her toenails. So they make it back into the museum and try to climb down the T-Rex skeleton little structure. But these raptors are relentless. It jumps onto the skeleton and it falls to the ground. Now they're surrounded by raptors. Raptors to the left, raptors to the right. Everywhere they turn, there's a raptor in sight. Oh, no. Rawr! comes to the rescue as he tears the raptors apart limb from limb. Yay! Dr. Hammond comes to the rescue. The raptors fought valiantly, but the T-Rex decisively dispenses discipline. Dr. Hammond finally gets everyone to safety and they get onto a helicopter and they leave his amusement park of death never to return again while the pterodactyls fly away. What? The end. Nom, nom, nom.